dang. That would be fun to experience something like that when random people in the bar just chipping in, sing a line. All right, today I'm checking out a song from across the universe called With a Little Help from My Friends. Let's get into it. Uh, Jude, as a stranger to our shores, the least I can do is offer you some Ivy League hospitality. Cheers. Welcome to the nursery. What would you do if I sang out a tune? Yep. Would you stand up and walk out on me? Hey, lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song and I'll try not to sing go. out a key. Right. Whoa, Whoa, I get by with a little help from my friends. Yeah. Yes, I with a little help from my friends. Oh, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. Take it easy, man. Hold it. Oh, what do I do when my love is away? Does it worry it to be alone? No, I get by a little help from my friends. I get by a little help from my friends. Oh, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. Do you need? Could it be anybody? I want somebody to love. Would you believe in a love at first sight? Yeah, I'm certain that it happens all the time. What do you see when you turn out the light? Ah. I can't tell you, <laughs> but I know it's mine. Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends. I get high with a little help from my friends. Oh, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. Oh dang! Okay, I'm halfway watching the watching the movie and halfway listening to the song. But the song seems fun the way they're performing it. They got everybody in the whole bar singing with it. That's musical stuff. You know what I mean? When the whole venue just breaks out in song. But it seems like something that would be cool to experience in real life, but that's impossible. Impossible to experience in real life without pre-planning and whatnot. The closest thing is like when you and a friend, you're like singing and you go verse for verse or line for line and you finish it. That even happens in chat sometimes. You type one lyric, someone else types the next lyric, type the next lyric. That's the closest thing. And that's even fun. So if this were to happen in real life, and just watching this like as if it's real life and it's not a movie and whatnot, it's like, dang. That would be fun to experience something like that when random people in the bar just chipping in, sing a line, sing a line, sing a line, you know? But the, the movie thing is crazy. That golf thing, hitting the golf ball off someone's face. Oh, I could never. I could never be the person with the golf ball and the little golf tee in their mouth. My friends. They look completely trashed by the end of that video. I can see why they would use this song for that part of the movie. Not having seen the movie, but just with these clips. They're literally just hanging out with their friends. And they were getting um unsober. I don't know what substance, alcohol or whatever. They were getting, you know, less sober by the minute with their friends. And that's what the song was about. I get by with a little help from my friends. So basically hang out with your friends and they support you. I get high with a little help from my friends. Maybe they were doing that in the video. I don't remember. But they were at the very least, they were at a bar. 
You know what I'm saying? By the end of the video, they're all just crashing on couches and stuff. And that's not really what sober people do. We don't lay on top of each other, sleeping on each other, crashing on couches, unless it's some kind of, you know, some kind of adult stuff going on. But anyway, you know, I can see why they would use that song. That song was perfect for that part of the movie. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like, I don't know. 